What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ship hockey cards the right way on eBay. I am an eBay seller. I do sell hockey cards, video games, and other things on eBay. So today I'm only going to be tackling hockey cards because there is a right way to do hockey cards and a wrong way to ship them. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the right way to ship hockey cards. In a future video, if you guys want to see me tackle video games or other things that I sell on eBay and how I ship them, let me know down in the comments section below. But for now, we're just going to be doing hockey cards. Let's get right into this. So like I said, there is a right way and a wrong way to ship hockey cards on eBay. And shipping hockey cards on eBay is extremely cheap and easy to do. For the most part, if people are buying uh, less than 100 grams from you, usually shipping should only be around $2, sometimes $3, depending on where you're shipping your hockey cards. But for the most part, whenever I ship hockey cards, it's usually individual ones or less than five hockey cards, sometimes less than 10, and they don't cost too much to ship. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys just on some base cards I have. So just four base cards, that what I'm, that's what I'm going to be demonstrating on how to package them up. What you are going to need is first some penny sleeves. These are really cheap. You get 100 of them for, I think, around a dollar. And you definitely need them. You need some top loaders. So these ones here, I think, are just some that I had lying around. Of course, I do see that there's a smudge on it. So if it's me and if it's a hockey card that I'm selling on eBay, I'll make sure that it is a perfectly new top loader that I'm giving them, not something scratched up or dirty. That way, instead of them having to take it out of the top loader and put it in their own top loader to put in their collection... They receive it, it's ready to go, so you need a top loader. If you are selling a thick hockey card, make sure you get the right size of top loader where it's not going to be squished in the top loader. If you're selling multiple cards, if they're cheap enough, you can just toss them all in a thicker top loader and do that like that. You may also need a team bag. Now, you can get away with other things, but team bags are the way to go. Again, this one is a dirty one, but I'm just showing you guys what I would typically use. Now you will need some green painter's tape. This is a must if you're doing hockey cards. Any other tape will leave residue on either the cards if you accidentally get tape on the cards or on the top loader and it'll just look dirty and really, really messy. So this is the right way to do it. Not only does it save the hockey cards and save the top loaders, but it's super easy to get off. So the buyer will not have an issue taking off the tape, unlike some of the other tape. Now, the other thing is going to be a bubble mailer. These ones here are the exact size that I use, but I do have other ones. Depending on how many hockey cards you're selling, you don't want this to be overstuffed, and you definitely want it to fit through the slot at the post office. If it's too thick, it won't go through the slots, and you do have to pay a little bit more. Now, I go above and beyond whenever I sell my hockey cards, because I want to know exactly what it's going to cost me to ship my hockey cards. So I have this little kitchen scale that I just toss my finished product, my packed hockey cards ready to ship up on it. And then that way I know how much it's going to cost. And normally I'll just put the stamps on them myself if I know roughly how much it's going to cost to ship. So these are everything that I use. Now, when I sell on eBay for my cheapest mystery packs... I get away with tossing 10 of them in this little Ziploc baggie. I've never had any that came damaged before. Now what I'll do on top of this, I'll put a top loader on evil either side of it to make sure it is sturdy and has something hard. And then I will put tape on all four corners of it around the top loaders and that keeps it nice and secure. Now this is about 10 to 12 hockey cards. So putting this in, I can successfully put, I think, two of these packs in i sell these for a dollar on ebay um they're just my overstock base cards i can put two stacks in an envelope like this on top of each other and if there's room i could put another two here so sometimes for the four dollars i can ship four of these packs sometimes i cannot so now how you package up your hockey cards i'm just going to show you on good old pk suban you're going to take your hockey card that you sold you're going to take a penny sleeve and you're going to put the hockey card in the penny sleeve properly just like so. And then you're going to grab yourself the right size top loader and you're going to toss it inside and make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. Now again, make sure you grab the right size top loader. 
That way the card does not get damaged. Since these are base, I know the regular top loaders will work for it for the sake of this video. Now, if they're jersey cards or something like that, you want to make sure you get the right uh, top loader to ship it in rather than just jamming it inside one that you have and possibly damaging the corners, the edges, or anything like that. Now, for me, I only package them up like this individually if they're worth more than five or ten dollars i'll give them their own top loader and put them in the envelope like that now if they're worth uh less than that then i get away with a thicker one here so i'll go i'll toss all the hockey cards in the thicker top loader i will if there's extra space i'll put some extra cheap base cards inside as just free cards for them not only do they get extra cards for free but it also saves the cards from bouncing around inside if i don't have extra hockey cards on hand i'll put a uh, dummy cards in which are the thicker hockey cards i'll put some of them in like usually one just you want to get rid of all of the empty space inside so the cards aren't bouncing around then just like you would the normal one this one here you would tape it off on the edge with the green painters tape so once you have your top loader packaged, ready to go, just on the top without squishing it down, you're just gonna flip it over just like that. And you're gonna tape each top loader that you're gonna sell just like this. Now, again, if you're going to package up a few, I'm just gonna show you guys how I would do that. I would take my penny sleeves. Each hockey card would get their own penny sleeve, just like that. They all have their own penny sleeve. And then you will grab the bigger top loader. Now, if I was just selling three hockey cards, I probably wouldn't put them in something this big. But for the demonstration, I'm going to just show you here. You're going to take all of your hockey cards that you sold, put them all in this top loader here. So now, as you can see, there is some wiggle room here and the cards can bounce around. What I would do now is either insert a dummy card or some extra base card that I have lying around without overcrowding this just so they don't bounce around. And then again, you'll take your tape and you'll tape off the edge without squishing it in. Just like so, I'll put it on here and without squishing it in because you don't want to squish this in and then tape it because that may damage cards. I'm just going to flip it around just like that, just so it keeps the cards secure during transits and they will not come out of the top loader. So like I said, I only go individual top loaders if they're worth more than $5. Now, if they are, if I have, let's say three or four or however many I sold, if they all have their own top loaders, I'll definitely put them in a team bag like this. So that way they're all secure, safe and sound. So I'll just put it in just like that. And just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to show you if you have multiples, you just put it in just like this. Right down to the bottom and you'll fold the edge and make it nice and secure. Now you have all your hockey cards ready to go in one package and they're not going to be bouncing around. Each top loader is taped off so the card is secured in the top loader and all of your top loaders are secured now in this team bag. Now the next step is to put them inside your bubble mailer. You have to make sure that you get the right size. You don't want something too big that the cards are bouncing around but you don't want one that's too small that all of the cards are basically getting squished inside. So you're just going to take it here since I know this is the right one. You're going to put it inside all the way to the bottom. And then I would take this tab off and fold it down just like that. And it would be ready to go. One tip that I have whenever it comes to these bubble mailers is I typically put my return address and the address of the buyer on it first before filling it up. Just because it can become harder to write on it if there is stuff inside. And then from here, I'll go and I'll take my little scale, turn it on. And I already have it set to kilograms. I would toss this package on top. Now, since it shows that it is 38 grams, since it is under 100 grams, this will ship anywhere in Canada for $2 and anywhere in the United States for $3. Now, you also have to make sure your thickness here because there is a slot system at the post office or at least at Canada Post where it does matter about the weight, but it also has to fit through the slot to be classified as regular mail. If it fits through the slots, then it will be the $2 in Canada or uh, $3 United States. If it doesn't, it will cost you a little bit more, but not much. Like I said, normally I will sell these here. They're a dollar on eBay, just my overstock eBay cards. I do have other stuff on eBay, but I just wanted to show you guys these. Um, I would package them up like I've already explained with a top loader on each side. 
with uh, green tape on each edge just so the top loaders aren't moving around. So the cards are secured with some hard top loader on each side. Now these ones here I have gotten away in the past with shipping them in a bigger uh, bubble mailer and I could put up to four of these inside and it still fits through the slot. So this is the right way to ship hockey cards on eBay. Some people use just a plain white envelope if they have a card in a top loader. That is fine in some way, but sometimes that card can still get bent if the post office does not realize. And also some people will go and they'll use other tape besides the green tape. This is so easy to remove, it doesn't damage the cards. It is the right tape to use. If you guys have any questions on how to ship hockey cards on eBay successfully, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to help you to the best ability that I can. But this is the right way to ship hockey cards on eBay. Now, the scale is not necessary, but it does help me whenever I sell my hockey cards or anything that I sell on eBay. I will use it because if I know what the weight is and the size of the package, I can kind of estimate what the shipping will cost. Hockey cards, like I said, are around $2.00. Video games are surprisingly, if I'm shipping one video game, of course, it's going to be a bigger size bubble mailer. But if it's a video game, usually it's around the $2 mark, the same as my hockey cards. And then anything else depends on the weight, the size of the package. If it's in a box, it all depends. But this is how to ship hockey cards that you sell on eBay the right way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.